All right, guys, you're about to see some epic rocket launches, but don't forget to subscribe and make sure you stay to the end of the video because I'm going to tell you how the next epic video of soda bottle launches with rockets is going to happen. You definitely don't want to miss it, and also stay tuned to that. Stay tuned to the end because I'm going to tell you how you could win not this, but your own Stay Incredible T-shirt. You don't want to miss it, so make sure you subscribe and watch the video and stay to the end. It's going to be epic. Let's go. All right, here's the plan, guys. I'm gonna take nine two-liter bottles of Diet Coke, no Mentos, nothing in it, just the soda, and I am going to launch it five stories high down below. Do you see all the wetness on the ground? Those are the test runs. I'm gonna take this bottle, I'm gonna take nine of these bottles, we're gonna just let it go. Now, if I'm right, the pressure from these bottles are gonna launch it. If it hits it just right, if the cap hits the ground and it knocks it off, this should launch the bottle up pretty much as high as I am and higher. So, let's get our nine bottles and let's launch them out the window one by one. Let's go. All right, so the way that happened, the way this video came about, I was in school last week and I was doing the Party Snapper Firecracker Ball. I threw it out the window, made some booms, and made some bangs. Oh! Oh! And then I had the Mentos and soda that I wanted to chuck, throw out the window. Problem is I forgot the Mentos. The kids were all waiting and they were like, throw it anyway. And I was like, all right, nothing to lose. I don't want to disappoint the kids. I threw the bottle out the window and this happened. No Mentos in it. And I did not think a two liter bottle of soda would launch that high without anything in it. It was completely sealed. Nothing other than just throwing it out the window. So I decided I was gonna buy a bunch of more bottles and repeat the experiment and see if we could duplicate the results and maybe even get a higher rocket. So that's what I did and that's where you see these awesome launches. I'm about four stories high, so it's about 40 to 50 feet. Stay tuned to the end again, guys, because I'm gonna tell you how and when I'm doing this bottle rocket attached to a soda bottle. If you thought these went high, just wait for these babies. Let's get back to the video. <laughs> Stay tuned to the end to see how you could win the t-shirt, but now I want to tell you what my plan is next. See, I want a little more firepower on the soda. So besides for me just launching it out the window, I'm going to give it a little boost. I don't know how long it's going to take for these to launch, to hit the air, but I'm going to attach a few of them to the side of the bottle using hot glue. Let's see, just like that. We're going to attach four of these 
And actually, we don't even need soda in it, but I think it will be cooler because soda will give it that extra boost. The only thing is, if it doesn't hit it straight down on the cap, it's gonna it's gonna launch sideways. So we definitely have to do it with an empty backyard. Now, the science behind why the soda just launched up like that is pretty simple. There's a ton of pressure in there, especially if you shake it. But even if not, all that carbon dioxide wants to shoot out of the bottle. So when you get the cap off just right and instantly all that pressure has to go somewhere so it goes in the opposite direction of where it's facing and that's why you get the carbon dioxide everything shooting out of the bottle and it's gonna go in the opposite direction for every action there's an equal and opposite reaction right which is you hit the cap off instantly and immediately and all that pressure will shoot out because you know like when you open a bottle of soda and it makes that sound all that is pressure. So imagine all of that coming out at once. Now you know when you open a bottle too quickly, you soak yourself, especially a bottle of seltzer with all that carbonation. And that's just taking the time to open the cap. So if you get that cap off just right, you get the rocket. Now, I don't know if the pressure is enough without the Mentos if you're on the ground, but we actually could try that next time. I've always been doing Mentos rockets by putting the Mentos in the bottle and then slamming it down on the ground and then having the bottle shoot up, like I did here. Let me get a little bit to get the gas out and I'm gonna slam it out. Ready? Three, two, one. Ah! One liter, we'll see if it works better. We're two for two. We're doing now the two liter again. Open it slightly and slam it down. Ready? Three, two, one. I'm gonna open this one a little more. I think that one was closed a little too tightly. Ready? I don't know if I need the Mentos. I may just need to hit the bottle just right. Now, if you do this and when you do this, the reason I use so many bottles, only about two or three out of the 10 bottles I had worked. The bottle has to hit the ground just like that so that the cap gets knocked off and then it just shoots up. If it gets off, if it gets knocked off this way, it'll shoot that way. If it doesn't hit the cap at all, it'll just, spill out and just spin around from the pressure, but it's not gonna shoot up. The bottle and the cap needs to be angled that way, hit the ground straight on, even if it's on a bounce. If you hit it like that, then it will go straight up. Look at these videos, look at, look at the zoom up version of what I just did. I'm gonna zoom in on the cap and you're gonna see exactly that the cap hit either right away or on a bounce, or after it bounced up in the air once, that was the coolest one that I thought, when it bounced up about over a story, and then came back down, and then the cap hit the ground, and then it shot up in the air, that was amazing. The kid's reaction was, we have to show it again. All right, now guys, I have to tell you about this app called Rivet. If you want to see my Incredible Signs videos in a book, you can download Rivet right now on the App Store for iPad or for iPhone and more coming. And it's YouTube books and other books on the phone or on the iPad. You can actually watch Incredible Signs videos but read it as a book. You can actually read it to your kid. Your kid can read it. It's educational. It's fun. It's like watching an Incredible Signs video 
but reading at the same time and actually learning something in the process. There are so many cool books besides for incredible science. Last but not least, and I hope you're watching, shout out to Naughty Monkey. Thank you so much for your patience. I'm sorry I forgot in the last few videos. If you want a shout out in the next video, type hashtag shout out and I will shout you out, hopefully. Remember, stay tuned for the soda rocket video. If you're excited to see it, type in hashtag rocket and I'm, I'm just gonna be pumped to show it to you. Now, for the t-shirt, it's really simple. All you have to do is comment below and be the first person to comment how many times did I say the word soda in this video. First person to comment correctly will win the t-shirt size of your choice, medium, large, small, whatever you want. So that's it guys, thank you so much for watching. I cannot wait to show you the next video. Don't forget to subscribe. I will see you soon. Stay incredible. Yeah